The theme of our video today is peace. So we are taking you to a country known as Eritrea, which has been independent since 1991. So it's a country tumultuous from its independence since 1991. There have been war, there have been sanctions, so we try to make a peace one where it is needed. So here this square you see it around now, it's called Bahata Maskaram Square. Bahata Maskaram is a square right here, which Zertrian symbolizes the beginning of their struggle. September 1st, 1961. It took them 30 years to May 1991. I hope our peace run will not take another 30 years. It will take only a couple of hours. So I want you to be perseverance if we're going to win peace in this couple of hours of journey in the city of Asmara. Asmara means peace, a city of peace. It was found by the king of Sheba. 3,000 years ago. She founded the city by the side of a river which is found in the middle of the city, right here. Let me take you back and show it to you this river, this famous river where it's, let's go a little bit, you know, discover about the city of Asmara. Here is a place where the king of Sheba delivered Harsan Menelik, the beginning of the city of Asmara, where this river, she called it My Blah, because she wanted, while she was delivering, she needed water, so she was asking My Blah. So this is the region Azaga, the region is called Addis Azaga. So this is the region, you can see, it's called Azaga region. Here is a temple right here holy temple built in the, in the form of Jerusalem's temple, round. We can zoom in and check it out. Right here at temple in Zazaga. Zazaga comes descending from Zagwe. Zagwe is the second son who was delivered right here uh, by Queen of Sheba's maid who was with her in Jerusalem. She also was pregnant from King Solomon. That is from where the Zagwe dynasty started in, e in Ethiopia. They, they connected to Zadok, the high priest, his ki children who came back after with Menelik after he visited Jerusalem. So they passed by here and settled the Gazagwe right here, settled the Zadok, the great priest's family. This is a priestly place, it's a holy place. You can see it's Azaga here, right here, Menelik delivery. It's a holy village in the holy place, a holy water here, <coughs> right here. So this is where the city of Asmara originally 3,000 years ago started. 2,300 years later, the four sisters at the fall of the Zagwe dynasty who built who was helped out by the people who live in this highland from So the river coming this way, the holy river here, it is covered today, used as a sewerage, uh, a discharge of, you know, all the, de all the s liquids of the city right here. It goes up in flow. Now today is a dirty water, that holy water, the last regime covered it up and sealed it 
forever to come. So the river is sealed for good. But right here, let's see the, the source of the river will start right here. Here is, let's zoom in and see in the first 2300 years after Queen of Sheba, what we know today as Mara City. So the, they established it here in the source of the river. The source which I have told you earlier, it starts right here, the new city. Let me show you all this thing. Let me zoom out again so to be in the right perspective. So here you go. This is the holy mountain. So the river start, goes up and it starts right here, this way, and it comes in and it starts. The intersection, it starts right here. You know, it goes underground, it's covered today. This is the road to Masawa. The river starts, comes here, and it starts right here, the Holy River. Let's zoom in and see what's happening 2300 years after the Queen of Shiva. 2300 years after the Queen of Shiva, the four sisters, the four clans who fought and settled right here, founded the city of Asmara, right here. This is a church, a holy church with four doors like the gates of Jerusalem. Here is one door is sealed in the image right here is one of the gate is sealed like the golden gate of Jerusalem. This, this is a holy temple here, it's called Balak Zavir Temple, which is celebrated every twenty nine of the month, uh, June 29, which is, uh, when I'm registering here, right now it is July, July 6 is exactly 29 June in Ethiopian calendar, which is seven days of difference. Right now, I'm doing it right now, by Alexander day, it's an, a kind of coincidence I'm doing this video. I'm surprised. So the holy, here is a golden gate like the, this is all you see is cemetery. The Balexar temple is right here. The emperor Haile Selassie built right here a temple in similitude like that of Aksum. Here is the Balexar temple, it's like Jerusalem. It's built in the image of Jerusalem. Like the valley of the dead, people are buried here waiting for the last days. So <clears throat> here is holy water start is here and goes down like I, we follow it to Zazaga. This area is a holy place. The Italian built right here a brick factory. This brick factory dried up the river and uh, here is the origin of one of the source of the river. It's a, it's a holy water, it's a, it's a lot of, it's a spring here, I'm telling you. Asmara is sitting in a spring. It's under full of water. So the big river divides the city into two. It's sealed off. A, a traveler of 16th century explains that people used to live on both sides of the river. The river was a big river before it dried up. So to show you how holy this place used to be. Now, the Italian brick factory here was in a starting 1897. The Italians started building, making bricks to build the city of Asmara and built up the modern city, what we call today Asmara, by the Italians using that brick for, and using the water of the Maibala. So it, they dried it up like the trees was cut by the Italians to make for that train to transport them. They were using coal from the trees which was around, holy tree. Now, here we start today's race, three kind of race. Number one is 25 kilometers. The second one, it will be 10 kilometers. The next will be five kilometers and three kilometers for kids because we're going to make peace. So the game starts right here. We'll go down the main street known as uh, Liberty Street. Liberty, since 1991. 
Like I told you, the struggle started in 1961 and ended up in 1991. So here is the great cathedral. The great cathedral, let me show you, on our road, on our way. Let me, this set of cathedral, let's see, we want the, the, the cloche, okay, the cloche, the, this is the great cathedral built with the break of the Maibela. You understand? Always the colonial powers build houses, destroying the holy temples and places of the colonized. Now here you go. The, our ranch goes down here and comes right here. Right here it comes. This is, let me put this in perspective, right here. This is the palace of the president. Right here our resource will come and turn, go down and come back. This is a three kilometer, we'll, you will see it, it will go down this way. The five kilometers will go down. The 10 kilometer will pass this way. The 25 kilometer will wheelchair, young girls and all. So we go down on the, le on the left side, leaving the president's palace, the emperor's palace in the time and the and later on, now with the Air France president, Dummer there and works there. So right here is a gas station. Let me show you this. Let me show you this, Cinema Roma. Cinema Roma, yeah, they may show you on this side, this is a gas station. It's in front is the Cinema Roma. One of the oldest Cinema Roma is the oldest cinema hall in the city of Asmara since the time of the Italian, over 70 years old, even more. So we come down, we'll find another historical corner. The city is full of history. This is called Shida. Shida is the shoes worn by the Eritrean during their struggle. This is it. This shoes was worn by the Eritreans during the struggle. So to immortalize their struggle, they put here. So they call it Shedda. So they show the day of their independence. Their avenue is called Queen Victoria's Avenue before. Now it is named Samatat Avenue. Heroic. Those heroes who will sacrifice their life. So everything in Eritrea is either spiritual or historic. That's what you'll find. So the great run of peace will start. You know, it started on right there on the 29th of Sunday. Now today I'm showing you uh, right here. It's, this is a place called Nagpa House. Nagpa is the first city liberated in the struggle. So right here is Nagpa House. Let me see the image of this roundabout. Let's check Nagpa. Yeah, in the image here is this water. It's a, this is, this is a, the Italian Fiat. Yeah, this is the Italian Fiat. This is a built like airplane. So uh, look, right here is Nagpa house. That's a, the air. Yeah. This is a roundabout. There's a roundabout in front of Nagpa house. When you are in Nagpa, is a city in the north, liberated first before any part of Eritrea is fought, liberated, Nagpa was liberated, and later on Masawa, the port. So it's, it's all history here. You find the history. This trail you see is other races we did before. We came here, we talked to you in other videos about this. So our race will go back to the historical place. So we're going to make this peace race. Let's give a chance for peace with Eritrea. Let each of us make peace with Eritrea. When this is more people to people, when you talk about political peace, it will never work. Yeah, the race will go back to city park. Here is a city park, it's a beautiful place. You have to visit it when you go by in Asmara. It's outdoor, nice, you know, tidy place where you can enjoy it. You can enjoy it while you are in Eritrea. Let's visit 
All these things are symbolic. You know, main streets of us. Let's check the street, how it looks. Look at this. This is the road we're going to go. These are, they call it Comistat of the Eritreans, like in the name of uh, the Italians who make him promenade in the evening. So this is called Comistato, and later on called Haile Selassie Avenue, you know, a new ruler, new name. So now the Eritreans themselves, for first time, they have a right to name their own street. They call it Freedom Street. That's it. Freedom Street. A history embedded with history. Eritrea is like, uh, Asmara is like a gold in furnace. All the area around her was burning during the last 30 years. But nothing happened to this city of peace, the city of King of Sheba and Zagwe, the dynasty of Zagwe who built from Zadok, the great priest. So our race will start right here. I most welcome you. Yeah, let's come down our time. Taking the example of the four sisters 700 years ago who built the city of Asmara, let's start putting peace together. It is long due in the city. Here is a gold medal for peace runners, bronze, silver and bronze, calves, everything here is the Indian peacemaker. Now they want to participate in the true peace and true sense of peace. We have 25, 10, and five street kilometers, sponsored also by Eritrean Airways. There's a people ready for peace run. It's long due in that, VC, in that city, in that country, to talk about the direct practice of how Swiss, or how peace is instituted in the right sense of term. So how peace is instituted in the right sense of ter term. So peace is not something which is on the air. You have to put the institution for peace. This is one of the cultural institutions of peace, making all over the world sport is a language. Music and sport make people together. Never divides. Music, sport, unites. Whatever the war divides and destroys. So everybody's ready. The young guys are ready to see these peace runners in the image of 700 years. Princess of this city in the area called Kavisa or in the highland plateau of Eritrea where the city of Asmara is situated. Now, this square was used by the ex region of Mangusu Haile Mariam to parade in the image of Kremlin military parade, built us and named us Revolutionary Squad. It's transformed now to the beginning of liberation struggle. Now we're going to use it as the beginning of peace in the coming hour and a half, two hours of our train. Here are the young, beautiful queens and princes of the highland of Eritrea, the Horn of Africa, the Abyssinians. Look at them. They're so beautiful. 3205, the son of Brigadier General Taklik fly from Sazaga. Yeah. The place of the birthplace of Minilik first, and that of Zagwe. Two of two was delivered. We always talk about one. There are two. Queen, Queen of Sheba's son Minilik, and the son of her servant from Minilik. His name is Zagwe. That's why it's come the kingdom of Zagwe later on. The Highlanders came and helped their Yodit, who destroyed Akum, Aksum, came and hid here in the Brabiza, and went down and destroyed Aksum and built the Zagwe dynasty. She reigned over 40 years all in the region, including Eritrea, Ethiopia, 
Kyun Sato. So this is the time again to make peace, to work together, not to destroy one another. Here is a brother, ready. He know what war means. Saga Jeff Jeff. Saga Jeff Jeff. Saga Jeff Jeff. Yeah. Masho, Muhammad Masho. Yes. Yes, brothers. Here we go, Muhammad. Here is Sabatu. Everybody is ready, the kids. I love Angus song. Everybody is ready. Everybody is excited. We have prepared t-shirts, white t-shirts for peace. Last time, rain in the Asmara Marathon. Here is everybody, ready. We have one kilometer race, break. Here is the Indian for peace. The peace contagious UNME. Seeing it in practice, not with our arm, what peace makes. This is making peace. So I invited them, they accepted. Who says the Indians will not run for peace? Yeah, they can run for peace, brothers and sisters. Yes. There is my staff. The traffic police was the city of Hasmara was with us for this. General Sabah. Uh, That's right. Yes. So he's most welcome to open this is special occasion for us. Please, General. Okay, okay. Yeah, it started. All fighters inside them, they were forced to fight for liberation. It's because it was imposed on them. Liberation fighters, they don't want to fight because they use the struggle as a therapeutic and cognitive therapeutic for them. As Franz Fanon said, a cognitive for the enemy. Now we're going to use peace as therapeutic for us, running, running therapeutic for us, and cognitive for the world, and we can run for peace. That's what we're going to apply today. So we're going to use, turn the arms to close and to start building peace. It's a country sanctioned for no reason. Just blame because of the regime on the other side is blaming Eritrea all the time. But the, the one who is the war monger, now is the time to run in both countries together. We have here runners from Addis Ababa. We have runners from Nairobi, from New Delhi, Bombay, from... Oh, look at this race. There's one kilometer race to pass a time set for one kilometer prior. And then you have three kilometers, five, and 20, 10, and 25. Here is the beautiful, the future of Air Korea. Right here. They are following up. They are catching up. They are coming. I'm telling you. Here is in front of the palace of the president. The, five, the three kilometer is going. Here's the guy fast, he run under nine, so fast. Eight something he did. That is very fast. Eight something in that area, in that altitude. Here is Sabahatu. My brother Sabahatu, wounded in the war. Yeah, he's confused in Indian. You have to go down, that is the way. The way of peace is yet not finished. We can't finish a struggle of 30 years in just a matter of an hour. We have to give up some more. Give it up. <laughs> yeah, in the end of this uh, race, I have a puzzle for you, a puzzle of wisdom and understanding. Who is a prodigy child? For me, myself, I found who is a prodigy Father, is that the United Nations a prodigy father? Who is the elder brother? Is that Malas? Who is Ethiopia, Eritrea? Who is the prodigy 
child, the public son. I want you to answer in the end by taking the wisdom of Jesus in the end. Because I use the wisdom of Solomon in the earlier Asmara Marathon, my series of videos. He is the fastest ever runner in that altitude. It's very hard, I'm told. I told you I was born in Addis and I know how hard it's in Addis when I try Asmara stuff. He's going to run under 15. That's it. 40, 40 something. I can't remember right now. I have to check my notes. Look. This is Etria Prode, since we went there, the best of the runners, even they whoop Kananissa in, in my international cross in Mombasa, Nairobi. Look, the last seven years put Eritrea in the world level, because you, when you think peace, you will win all the time, you are the winner. You have to pay the price. In Hebrew, the word peace has signification. The signification of the word peace in Hebrew is from the word shalem. Always the Semitic language is the third person singular you have to use. Shalem, the shalem means to make, to pray, to pay price, to pay. You want to go to a shop, you say shalamti, I paid in Hebrew. So, shalem, shalom means peace. So peace has a price. Peace has a price, but you have to pay the cost of the peace. So here is it. We have to pay it simple now, running. Running. These young guys, they, don't, they can't accept. He came out of 5K to catch up those on 3K. They can't take it, you know. Time is catching up on them. I understand. It's beautiful as more as this is these trees. These dead trees are the sign of Asmara planted by the Italian. On this tree, the Italian called it Comistato. But in the evening, beautiful, the Eritreans work with their beautiful Abyssinian girls and promenade in the evening, it's known. Now it's called Liberty Street. You saw Binyam. Binyam is a young runner deported with purification of Italy from Ethiopia to Asmara. We have to stop deporting one another. From Eritrea to Abisava, Abisava. But the worst came, those who were deported from Eritrea, from Abisava, 50,000 purification of Italy. These are born, grown up, they don't even know Eritrea. Later on, you have to impose them. They've been deported by mistake, some of the Ethiopians. So it's come on to peace now. Let's not talk war mongering. I'm trying to monger peace. That's what I'm talking about. Let's run. Look, this is. He won the five kilometer in such a speed. The 10 runners just passed. Everybody's, yeah, the 10 kilometers still continuing. My brother Kenya, the dominant of world run. Runners in, uh, in London, runners in New York, runners in Boston. These are the Kenyans. Look, oh my God. They are born to run. Like the film Born Free, born to run the Kenyans. Yeah, this is first of first of September Square. Alan, the Ethiopian, the Indian behind him. Here is Tuku from Dubarva, from Turame. Oh, Tuku, the Eritrean, the Eritrean Abu Bikela. He runs barefoot. We heard now the more scientific studies is proving that we have to run barefooted. Yeah, that's the best way of running. But. We have to go back to the nature, I'm telling you. Here, guys, finishing at 10K. Yeah, the Kenyan advising, so everybody's here. Changing, starting a new beginning, like 1961, 1st of September, like 700 years ago, you know, the children of Zagwe, who built the city of Asmara as a place called Arbata Asmara, here is the guest from Curran. She was deported from Addis Ababa. Here is the champion, Angason. Angason was wounded. Wounded, lost his two legs in the war against the dictatorial regime of Mengistu Haile Mariam, who killed over 80,000 80, students in the Red Terror in the streets of Addis Ababa and Asmara. He is still in Zimbabwe hiding. 
hiding in Zimbabwe one day when the Africans accept. Here is a British lady. She has one more round to go. She knows how to take it on. You know, the Londonians, they know how to run for peace. They run for peace, for family. You know, they do all the best. It is Lydia. Lydia is a brother. Yeah. So we have to work peace. Peace is not politics, it is social. Rahane. Rahane from forest operation area. Yeah. We run for peace. The fighter running for peace. Here is a military runner. He, he runs under 30 minutes, 10K. 10K under 30 minutes, making history in his own streets, which he liberated first from the Italian, later from, you know, regime of dictator Mengistu Hainamala, who destroyed it because of Mengistu's regime. Here is the Ethiopia and Eritrea went on to war, wanton war. Brothers fought for wanton war of destruction, millions of days. So it's a horrible day. Now here is the brothers changing, changing the world. So we invited in this race all the generals, they accepted. I'm telling you, we have to find a way, sociological solution to the problem of the Horn of Africa. It's not the Algiers Conference, the United Nations office is going to solve it, or a military intervention which is going to solve it. We have to start solving the, our problem by social solutions. Social solution can, here's the Kenya who finish, give us the best of the answers to our problem. We have to revision a new paradigm, a new paradigm of a new social institution, people to people. We have to build on the common people, the best people. Here is Angerson. Angerson loves this war, I told you, fighting the uh, Soviet satellite regime of Addis Ababa. Yeah, he lost his leg, uh, but now he's winning the war differently. He won one war, he's winning, he's winning peace. So, s social movements can develop a social peace. We need a social peace in the society. This is a practice, the application, the translation, how peace will be applied in the Horn of Africa. So when, it, when I went and addressed the generals to come down for peace, they accepted and came down. These are the fighters. They accepted it. That's the way we have to do. We have to approach them the way they don't. They never treated it before. This is a new approach. They never saw it. They, lady from Foggy London Town, she came in, she finished, she teaches computer in Eritrea. Taku, barefoot runner, above get off Asmara. Even General Sabat is surprised about him. Brigadier General Pavletic Light, and on his uh, left side, Brigadier General uh, Aulia, who is a sport commissioner himself. He is a Benifer Hotel, an Expo Asmara, the head of the Benifer Hotel. So enjoy it, go to Expo. He has the greatest smile of that Abyssinian hospitality. You can take care of you. Here's Angerson finishing, finishing just the beginning of the peace, peace run. This great peace run. I'm proud. I'm paying my price. Being from Ethiopia origin, coming to Asmara, so-called I'm an enemy, I was accepted with hand open. Look, and now when I went there, I was criticized, even called terrorists, and I was treated all kind of way in the media. But now has come. Here is Rose going to the last round. But now I paid my price. I exhausted my, my feeling towards our ancestors. This. So now I have paid my price. Everybody has to pay his. So go ahead and pay your price too. Make peace. <clears throat> Look at the Indian twins. They are doing their I can't catch up with nobody now. You know, the peace is running away from my hand. Everybody is catching up to the peace. So I have to catch it up with motorbike. Wood Moto, the bike man, who lost his hand later on, 
And so in my video, and egg, in our anniversary of Warsaw Athletic in Eritrea, she she's wounded. I'm telling you, she bleeds, but she ain't gonna stop. Yeah, she stops, so I have to take care of her. I'm a naturopathic medicine, so I will deal it immediately, the fastest way. Look, she'll be on her foot, and she'll be running. She's a queen of peace in Eritrea, she has to go. Here she go. Here she go. Yeah, she needs that. Here go another deportee. But time will come. He was deported from Ethiopia. Yes. But now he show who, he, who is he. The toughest runner. Yeah. All who are victimized came and joined this peace run to show, to forget, to cleanse themselves from that pain. Yeah, here's David. David is now a coach to, to, the, to the military club in Asmara. He used to be a marathon runner himself. You see, when a coach practices himself, this is a guy. The guy was, the guy Amici, the guy Amici was deported from Asmara. They call him Amici because all American speakers in Asmara, they call them Amici. The, those who are born in Asmara, the Eritrean kids, who speaks with a lot of they call them Silla. Silla is those who are born right there, and some of them, the, and those who come from Ethiopia are called Lamichi. It's a friendly discussion, but sociologically it has a very good, great interest. They call you Amichi. They call me on the street, Amichi, Amichi, Dr. Amichi. I love it. I love it. Yeah, here is one of the greatest runners in Asmara. He won the Kamahari Asmara Marathon. I remember him. Yeah, He's, uh, sometimes he get off, even if you Alam. Alam is also living in Asmara from long, from his childhood. Came out of Tigray province in Ethiopia. This is a peace run. We have all Ethiopian runners, Kenyan runners. We have all the generals. We have all the Indians. We have the Kenyans. Ah, it's all right. He has to take it easy. Yes, yes, it's altitude. He has to relax. My brother. This is Wudukarshi. Wudukarshi is a great runner. Give me a steep name, you know. I know them, all of them. Yeah. There's some of 25 kilometer runners are blocked by some of the guys. Here is this famous revolutionary school now converted to 1st of September, Bahata Mascara Square. So we Every Friday in this square, a holy prayer is taking place. Here's what is Tuku taking place here. Eritrea have half of the population of Eritrea is Muslim, so Muslim. So Friday this area will be blocked because plenty of people will be here, especially in holiday, in Al Eid, you know, on the holidays, Muslim holidays, faith days. Prayer days, you'll, be, you'll see. This area is now, you know, given to peace. Prayer is peace. Running is peace. For music, it's given also. And also, it's celebrated the Muscal Day. Like the Muscal Day, the finding of the cross day. That day also, everybody come out and, you know, burn a campfire, a big one. The twin Indians. Never told the Indians could run for peace, who cannot run? Look at them, they finish. My God, they finish the 25 kilometers, they're holding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get drunk, you know, in this altitude. Less oxygen, my friend. It's not 300 meters of Bombay, Calcutta. This, yeah. In Northern India, it's hilly and mountains. If you go to the Himalayas, you can go hard. Yeah, but these are from downhill except some of them. I talk to them. They are so nice. I'm touched. If India with Gandhi made peace, we can make peace. We can make peace right here. There is Rose. It's a girl. 
Rose of Peace. She made that 25 kilometer. This 25 kilometer in this hot sun, the sun has gone to 30 degrees, I checked it. We start the cool, chilly morning. When you go around this five kilometer, five times, the sun goes up and gets hot, gets hot. The highland, we are the, this is the closest place to the earth, but not from the sea level. From the sea level, yeah, we got Himalaya. From the close to the sun, since the is in close to the equator in the tropic, it's closest place to the sun. So you can feel, you feel different when you're there, while well, it's different when you are around other places, higher places, altitude than in the Horn of Africa the origin of mankind, the beginning of civilization. Yes, the bring of all the religions. It's all the religions start here. I'm telling you, it's the Semitic people. 60% of all the Semitic people live in the Horn of Africa. You know, 60% of the DNA of those Semitic people, the majority of Semitic people concentrated in one place in the Horn of Africa, either believing in Muslim religion or Christian, in Ethiopia and here. Look, look at this. Saga. She is she is the beauty, the beauty, the incarnation of the king of Sheba. Look at her. She finished the 25 kilometer wounded. If she was not wounded, the shoe, you know, she should have would have run barefoot and that would have been better. She was hurt, but she made a kind of meditation. You know. I told her to forget her foot, do so sophrology. I was teaching some sophrology there for the runners, but she did it good. Look at her. Mm, mm, mm. I'm proud. What is Alan giving a hand? He finishes 25 kilometers like nothing. He is helping out now. Look at that. He's great. He help her, he train her. Alam is a trainer, he trained her. He knows, that's why he came to give him, you know, more for her support. She needs it. Yeah, she's laughing. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I should feel good. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the finish line. Yeah, General, yeah. It's time now. It's about time. We have to give ourselves time for running, time for peace. Hello. Yes, we saw it. Naga, Coach Naga. He was timing everybody also. Yeah, he got in five stopwatch. Yeah, the first, first to deserve this peace prize are those who are on the wheelchair. You can understand. He really, teacher Naga, he really supported us. He really helped us out. So this is a special organization. You may be saying I'm um, a demagogue or extra plotter or anything you want, but this I did it. This is the greatest thing. Here is my minister Monk Orios. Yes, Askal Mankore is once a fighter, one now minister. She's now our partner for peace for this day. She was with us in Asmara Marathon too. 
Today is a white t-shirt, she participated. Last time was red. Special Asmara Marathon. Red was the thing. Yeah, he won. Yes, I love that. Yeah. I feel good. I feel so satisfied on this. This day is a special day for me, which I always dream to do it, I did. I once organized Abba Vikela Marathon in Addis Ababa, in the time of the military regime. I remember, that was the feeling I had also then. Now also, this time I felt it good, that was a the terrible regimes in, but I did it. This time, you know, our brothers like this, wounded by the bullets of Ethiopia, they came here to be a testimony. What we don't have to do, what not to do, not to have no more war in the Horn of Africa between Eritrea and Ethiopia. So I gave you that puzzle the product child. Who don't want the product child to come out? Who is the product child? Who is the father of the product child? Yeah, this metaphor I'm giving you, like in Asmara Marathon, I use King David and Queen of Sheba. Now I'm using Jesus, because Jesus was preaching. He said, even those who didn't see me, you know, if the king of the south will come even to see the Messiah in the coming days. This is the land of the king of Sheba, the king of the south. Yeah, when Shiloh comes. So I'll be a preacher today, preacher of peace. That's what I want to be today. But I'm a sociologist. Sociology uses all aspects of life. You can't exclude religion, you can't exclude philosophy, you have to use also music, sport. This has a social phenomena, the new paradigm of the, the 21st century must be built on that. Well, we're going to 2012, it's a new era, a new, a new time is coming. He's, he's uh, taking the car for all the club of wheelchair. Aujourd'hui, le wheelchair pour le, for our brothers who are listening in French. Aujourd'hui, le, le paraplogic wheelchair, Asmara, ils sont indépendants, ils fonctionnent autonomously. Here is Naga preparing Colin. Now it's time to give a prize. Le temps pour distribuer le prime. Préparé par mes eaux de la vie pour les athlètes, pour les compétitions, pour la paix. On vous remercie toutes et tous qui nous ont aidés à jeûner pour faire valoir ces jours de la paix au corps d'Afrique. Je vous remercie tous les Genevois qui sont participés et les autres qui sont en Espagne, en Italie, qui ont été généreux avec nous. On vous remercie. Chalerosmo. Oh, merci. Here is a young, beautiful lady, queen. La princesse. Voilà la princesse. C'est ça le rêve de la paix. Yeah, I have to put some French because I forgot. Ah, the francophone on the other side of the coin. Voilà le queen. La reine de, de la course, la reine de la paix, d'Asmara. C'était une, une journée magnifique aujourd'hui. J'étais profondément touché. Je remercie Annick Dory qui est à Genève et le reste de l'équipe de Maison de la Vie qui sont soutenus par ces athlétiques. Asmara et tous les, les généraux qui sont participés avec nous pour faire possible cette journée de la paix Asmara. 
le contingent, le soldat des Nations Unies d'Inde, les soldats des Kenyans des Nations Unies qui sont venus pour garder la paix. OK, on a traduit la paix différemment. La paix à travers le sport, pour y rétablir qui, la tranquillité de la région, il faut lancer l'esprit. Maintenant, on invite, on invite les généraux pour donner ces prix pour le coureur de la paix. Voilà. Mevrat le de Kamhare. Yeah. Les abyssins sont pudiques. Voilà. Voilà. Voilà le deuxième. Wayne, Wayne, she became a great runner. Waka. Yes, Waka, marathon runner. He won many marathons. He represents his country internationally. We prepared Waka to win the Kamhari Asmara Independence Hall Marathon. He ran and won it. He's a great runner. He's a brother. Ah, Binyam. Binyam from Ethiopia, deported. Yeah, he started a new life, he's happy, he's welcome. Yeah, General Tekle. Voila, General Tekle. General Tekle. He nous a soutenu pour cette course de la paix. The premier opération le régime de, le régime de première opération. Voilà le coureur de l'Angleterre. Voilà, il a gagné le prime de la paix, le médaille de la paix. Je suis honoré de la voir courir avec nous aujourd'hui pour ces journées spéciales. Voilà les reines de Sava. Général Teclé, elle vient de la région de Tzazega, la place où les reines de Sava a couché roi Minili, le premier Minili, roi d'Éthiopie, le premier roi d'Éthiopie, le premier fils, le reine de Sava, le fils de roi Salomon. Lui, il, est, il vient de Tzazega, où la rivière Maïbala passe. Aujourd'hui, la, la, la rivière Maïbala, il est, il est fermé, bétonné. On ne peut pas même le voir. Il est utilisé pour décharge de la ville. Maintenant, si vous voyez, les égouts de la ville passent. À l'intérêt, c'est cette eau sainte. L'eau de Reine de Sava, l'origine de la ville d'Asmara. Voilà, je suis joyeux, content. Boudo, c'est une club militaire à Asmara. Ils sont tous venus, ils sont tous participés. Même le général, il est heureux pour faire ça. Il ne faut pas les sanctionner comme ça trop rapidement. Ils sont prêts de participer avec nous. Il faut les toucher différemment, les êtres c'est ça, moi, je crois. Moi, j'ai payé, j'ai exorcé le problème, l'égard entre l'Éthiopie le, le, et l'Eritrée. En tant qu'Éthiopien, d'être dans le pays, frères et amis, et de s'en occuper, organiser ce. Général Wuchu. Yeah. Grand général, qui m'a toujours aimé, qui m'a toujours soutenu. 
Yes. Il m'a demandé de étudier les langues tigréniennes, maîtriser les langues. C'est ton langue, il m'a dit. Oui, j'ai appris un peu. Je parle un peu. Il ne faut jamais dire que je parle parfaitement. Je ne parle jamais assez. Ce sera ma huitième langue. Oui. Les enfants, ils attendent. L'enfant, ils vont applaudir plus vite. Yeah. David, grand coach, grand coureur. Yes. Tout le monde est excité, tout le monde est content. Yes, c'est un spécial day of peace. So I, I won today. J'ai gagné aujourd'hui. J'ai gagné la paix. Je suis heureux toute ma vie pour cette date. Je ne peux pas gâcher ce jour. I cannot say I won. This day I won. You can talk all other things in other contests. But on this contest, they are ready to participate. They play the game with me. And they can do it. I'm proud of everybody who is present right here. I'm proud of the generals. I'm, all, I'm proud of the Indian soldiers. I'm proud of the, the British runner, brother of the guy from America. Most of all, the Indian runner. Here is the Kenyan military leader. He is the colonel of the Kenyan soldiers who came to make peace between Eritrea and it, Ethiopia. Yeah, we asked him to give also some prices of peace, because the Kenyans, they know what peace is, they know what running is. They, has gone, they have gone to Mao Mao, all kind of his colonization from the British. Now they are free. Kenya is free, but still going on changes and changes, like all the continent of Africa. Yeah. Would Major Grimai Ms. Gana right there in the middle helping us out? Yeah, to get out some of the names of the military names so we don't confuse. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, he helped us out, otherwise we, we don't even know nothing on that one. We need some kind of help. Yeah, so he became a partner of peace. Yes, thank you. He turned back and shake his hand. That's his brother. Yeah, she's a kind of intimidator. He's asking other guy to come in, gives a prize. Yeah, she she never been in public, you know, how public they are. She don't know what to do. She don't know what's happening. She just wants to take her prize and run away. As fast as possible. She, elle veut partir le, elle veut partir le plus vite possible, prendre son prix, et foutre le camp. C'est ça elle voulait. Mais, yeah, for the French speakers, you know. Yes, she didn't have a time to shake his hand. She didn't know what to do. She just ran away. <laughs> it's okay. We understand. Yeah, she, she felt like we set her up, we frame her. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, the queen who won the peace. I'm telling you, these girls are winning. So we have four girls who won, like, 700 years ago, the symbolism has played. Yeah. La commission, la, le commissionnaire de sport Brigade General Aulia. Oh, il, a, il nous a bien accueillis, il a bien même accueilli Annick Dory, le président de Maison de la Vie de Genève, quand il est venu à Asmara. So we are happy here is the General, Brigade General Aulia, the head of Air Transport Commission himself. Thank you, General. Yeah. Sport is a part of peacemaking. That's where we have to fight. Not on the war field, but we have, not on the arms way, but on peace.
This is the way we have runners from Ethiopia, you see. We have runners from all over the world right here. Generally, we can represent that way. See, we have Kenya, India, UK, America, many from Ethiopia and Eritrea. Look at that. That is the way of the peace we have to work on. <laughs> yeah, we say he's taking for the club for the first operation area of Brigadier General Tekle Major's Club, who came bending for actually, but right here for all the guys who's helping us. Yeah, teacher, teacher Takaste, who came from southern Ethiopia. He's a teacher in school, Hala School, where he let us use his, his stadium for training. Yeah, we, he always been there. He's a great coach, a great teacher, sport teacher for a long time. Many years he served in Ethiopia, southern Ethiopia. He made many athletes. They are now in great position in Ethiopian athletics. The region was highly aggressive last weekend. That's where he from. He's the one who, in hours, he was there. Training them. Now we see the result. Now he's engaged. Once he got caught the virus of peace running, you get, you be there. Here are the two peacemakers now. The two head of two countries, military heads. He's proud general. I'm proud of him. He always, he really, I really admire him on this day, what he did for me. He made history. That's what you have to do. You have to go and see him and talk to him. They'll be there. We have to stop all these kind of sanction, accusation, you know, retribution. Let's make peace and live together. Let's not go there and start provoking war. Yes. Yes. We do shake up. The head of uh, Dandan Club. For Dandan Club. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. Another military club. Everybody trying to leave. There's wood in the skin, I'm a German skin, I'm a German skin. But we have to make a prayer, a, a ceremonial silence, meditation, teaching, prayer for those all over the world who died struggling for peace, wherever they are, wherever they are, those who stand for peace. This is the only thing who unites us, martyrs of the struggle for peace. When it comes to it, when it comes right here, they play the game with me. And I have the greatest respect for them on this occasion. Here is the two generals humbly on the street. I don't see Melissa Zanayna Bisawa walking on the street, making without no protection among these people. Look at this, Askalu Monkorius, Minister of Social Works and Human Development. Look at this. You know, free there, everybody was there. That's what I love. That doesn't mean they don't need to protect themselves. But I'm saying for this call of peace, I don't see no army, nothing. I have asked that to be happy. Nothing. 
You have to go there and make peace with yourself. That's what I tried when I was there. I taught in the university for free. I trained handicaps for free. That's what you have to do. I healed a lot of people there. All kinds of diseases, hemorrhoids. I, mean, I did all my expertise of 40 years of studies and training. I put it there for the service of the people of Eritrea to make peace between us. That's what I did. This is my testimony. This is what we have to show all what we did one day in our life. And they helped me to make it all. You have to be helped to do it. They're ready to do it with me. So you try also this way, they will do it with you. I'm sure. But one team is sure. We are one people. There's no difference between us. We have to make the kind of concession, shalom. We have to give and take. You can't just. Yes, General. Look, the little kid is a general. She just came spontaneously right here. She's watching, so seeing her finger. Yeah. She's learning. Once we are no more there, she'll remember with her memory. She remembers. Yeah. He didn't eat the whole day, the little kid. I understand. He's hungry here. Run. Yeah, uh, try a little talk and I have prepared for them. It's a little talk. You know, you know, a little things I need, you know, what I want to say. A little finance inside. Just to make them happy, you know. It's not, medal is good, that's enough. We're not commercializing running. Running must be free of all this business all over the world you'll be seeing. Rotterdam Marathon has changed. You don't want to more give in peace. No more big sums, but he gives them to the locals and he's not giving for the African. That is not good. You have to stop giving a lot of money, stop for everybody. This is symbolic peace run. London is the best example of collecting for peace, for famine, for diabetes, for kidney problems, for cancer research. You watch London Marathon. Since it is our tradition, starting the last video on Asmara Marathon, we have given you a puzzle on the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon. Since Queen of Sheba is the founder of the city of Asmara, right now we want to give you a new puzzle based on the New Testament. Since Eritrea is a new country, we want you to find out who is the prodigal son, who is the prodigal elder brother, who is the prodigal father, and the context of socio-politic situation between Eritrea and Ethiopia.